So I just want to do a quick video on these charge controllers to be able to charge the batteries. So you can use, like we, I have a 48 volt Victron, 48 volt input, 1200 watt output. The 48 volt is DC, the 1200 watt um, is the output, and it's actually 120 volt um, output, pure sine wave. And then I have a uh, 1200 watt DC 12 volt, and it's an AC output of 120 volts. So we got DC of 12 volt coming in, and the output, we got three of those output uh, plugs right here uh, that we can plug into. So wanted to talk about the fact that if we're going to use these um, for our uh, charge or running something, we would need to be able to charge the batteries up after we uh, run something on a mini split, a refrigerator, whatever we're running on it. When we deplete the battery, we need to charge back up. That's where you can use these charge controllers. And that's a 48 volt charge controller on the white EG4 up here. Uh, this is a 12, 24, 36, or 48 volt. And this is a 12 or 24 volt. So this 12 or 24 volt, it's auto sensing. So when I connect either this 12 volt battery or this 24 volt configuration of two 12 volts, it would automatically sense it. This one right here, I could connect either this 12 volt, the 24 or the 48 volt, and it would automatically sense it and show me the voltage on there. This one right here is just a 48 volt. I would not be able to use it on a 12 volt, 24 volt. I would only be able to use it on a 48 volt battery. This is considered a 48 volt battery. It's 51.2 volt, 100 amp hour battery. So you would be able to be able to need to use one of these things to charge your batteries up after you use them. And they're really easy. They're simple. You've got a positive solar panel cable, negative solar panel cable, positive cable going to your battery, negative cable going to your battery. On this, on any of these, I would put a DC um, breaker on the positive cable right here. You could, you could cut this cable right here and put it in the top right there and then the other end out of the bottom. Just strip a little of the casing off of this you know, where you cut it so you can put it in here and then you just tighten it down with a screw on the front here. So you could turn your battery off. But actually on this one, there's already a breaker for the battery and for the solar. So you wouldn't need to do that. Uh, but for this one and this one, I would put a breaker in on this red cable right here coming out of your battery for this and the red cable here coming out of the battery you could put a breaker in like right there, right there, you know, just doesn't have to be, it just has to be somewhere in there so you can shut your voltage off from your battery um, going into your inverter and from your solar going into your battery through that um, charge controller. So I would probably do the same thing. I would put one of these, these are 20 amp DC breaker for my solar input. I'd probably put one of those. That one's already got it. So I'd probably put one on that as well. And it, you can see it kind of, it's a double pull here. Um, here we go. Here's one. This is like a 20 amp breaker on here. It's a double pull. So you'd put the, um, put the positive end on one side, negative on the other. And you gotta watch, they're not all the positive on the left and the negative on the right. You gotta see what it says. Um, trying to see on this one uh, it's not very clearly marked on this one <laughs> so uh, I'd have to check on that um, this one was really clearly marked I think oh I have two more of them right here uh, but I know on, on this brand it was clearly marked anyways I put one of these in uh, for your uh, solar to turn your solar off going into your charge controller and then if you put one of these breakers on your battery you can turn off from your charge controller to your battery so you don't get anything from your battery so you could shut that uh, power off coming from the solar panels 
and the battery going to your charge controllers. So, but you know, this this inverter right here, or this inverter, the Victron 48 volt, um, 120 volt DC AC output, 48 volt DC in, 120 volt AC out. Um, you can see right there. Uh, you could connect it to this and you know like on this I could connect this just like this with these Anderson quick disconnects now Same thing here. This has a breaker on the battery that I could turn off So I could probably use that and then also has an on off switch. So this one I'd probably be okay But I'm using either of these um, Like I said, you'd want to have you could have a Anderson quick disconnect um on, on those two right there, this is about the thickest wire you can get in there. This is like twice that thickness. So you'd have to put a breaker in here. And I don't, I think you would have to um, connect to your battery using these ring terminals here. Uh, you'd have to do this because you can get some smaller um, Anderson. They have them in like um, smaller, like uh, 50 amps, maybe 75 amp, maybe 100 amp. They're, as you go down in amps, this actual size of this gets smaller. So you could get some of those if you had a smaller setup. But with this, I could connect like maybe four or six solar panels and I'd be able to charge, use this, one of these. And depending on which one it is, like I said, that white one up there is a 48 volt. You could only connect it to this battery, a 48 volt battery system. Um, and then you'd have to use a 48 volt uh, inverter on that to be able to use this. Uh, this one, you could only connect it. This is a 100 or 12 volt um, DC. You can only connect this to this one right here. This 24 volt, you could not use for it. Either you could use it on those, but you have to have an inverter that's 24 volts. This is 12 volt. This is 48 volts. So I, do, I don't have an inverter for a 24 volt system. But the charge controllers, those two charge controllers, could use a 24 volt system if you got a 24 volt charge controller that would output 120 volt AC. So... Anyways, just want to do a quick little thing on the charge controllers there. Uh, you know, depending on how much battery you have would depend on what you would need to be able to use. If you're not using a lot and you don't need to do a lot, you could use the 12 or 24 volt. And honestly, I bought this four or five years ago. This one was half the price of what this one was. And that's only 12 to 24 volt. This is 12, 24, 36, or 48. And then this one was a lot more expensive because it it does a lot more. <laughs> you know, I can maybe get 2,000 sol 2, watts of solar panels on that. I get 5,000 watts on that. 100 amp output, I can only get 40 on that. So this one, um, I think it was around three, 370 when I got it. So, um, but that's a lot better than these other two here. Anyways, just want to do a quick video on that and uh, kind of go over charge controllers. There is another way to do it, and that's the off-grid system like that I have here. And this actually are all tied together going into this electrical panel. And then it has the output here. And then I have five batteries, five 5120 volt batteries, all EG4LLs connected um, right here on my bus bar, positive and the negative on my bus bar, and that controls running all this. So this could run a house. <laughs> this is a 150 amp service coming in here. Two more of these inverters. I have a 200 amp breaker in there. Two more inverters on the wall. That's 200 amps going into there. So I, I don't know if mine's a 150 or a 200 amp service on my house for the grid. So, anyways, just wanted to share that with you. Please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. 
And I'll leave links in the description if you want to purchase any of these products. We appreciate it if you click through the links. They give us a small percentage of the sale. It's nothing off of your, it you know, doesn't charge you anything extra to use the link. It just helps us out. And we're able to buy this stuff and test it out and be able to tell you about it and how it works. And uh, pretty much on that, hope you have a truly wonderful and extremely blessed day. See you in the next video.